So I'm going to be making an extremely simplified version and seeing if it's good. Good is the standard that we're going for here. Now the original recipe calls for the first layer to be a lemon curd Swiss roll. Now you have to make the Swiss roll uh, dough and then you have to roll it when it's still uh, when it's still warm and then you have to add your own homemade lemon curd. We're gonna skip that step. Instead, I bought a Swiss roll. <laughs> My next step is to smother on lemon curd. We are going to create a biscuit crumble and I'm going to add a layer on top as long as some uh, kind of like chunkier whole biscuits. Uh, and I'm gonna add a layer in the middle as well because it's what I believe is the only saving grace of this recipe. I think just to add in a little bit of spice, we add a little layer of biscuits uh, after this just to give it a bit of crunch because at the moment I feel like it is so squidgy and heh. And then we're gonna follow it up with a layer of marmalade. The original recipe calls for um, a lemon custard, which you would probably make from scratch. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna mix normal custard with, I would like to think, a bit of lemon curd, whipped cream. Because this couldn't get any more disastrous at this rate. I'm just gonna put some more chunky cookie pieces on top. So here I am with my finished cheats trifle. This could be awful, but if I truly hacked this, you'll all be thanking me. So let's have a little taste. You know what, I'm not appalled. It's not the worst thing I've ever tasted, but something's not right in there. It's the fact that I think I mixed lemon curd with marmalade. So what I'm getting is um, notes of like, kind of buttery lemon mixed with really tangy orange. And that marmalade was like a coarse marmalade as well. Overall, for something I whipped up in 10 minutes, I would give this a seven out of 10. No, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. 